What's up, guys? I'm here with catch number 22 and Gojo. Say hi, Gojo. Hey, guys. All right, so today's video, we're, well, okay, so I got you guys a super special catch today. This is a Russian. And what's really cool is, I mean, these guys are super rare. I've never encountered a Russian on all my catches before. I mean, you usually don't run into guys from Eastern Europe. It's usually always Western Europe. And um, one cool thing about this is, I know this guy's a predator, but I was able to ask him some questions on what he thought about the war and what's going on there and some inside perspective. So I think that's pretty cool with all that's going on in Ukraine to actually hear from a Russian about what's going on in there. Kind of a cool perspective. I know he's a predator, but I couldn't resist asking him about it. So are you I, ready to get into I, it? I mean, honestly, you, you you really can't miss a golden opportunity like that. So, yeah, good good luck on you on that one. Yeah, no kidding. Are you ready, comrade? Do you read da. the Russian? Da! Let's do this, comrade. Ura! Ura! <laughs> All right, here we go. M. F12. How about you? Mmm, 31. Oh, nice. Smiley face, tongue out. I guess. From, question mark. USA, how about you? Russia. Is it, it late there? Question mark. Oh, cool. Yeah, but I don't care. LOL. And then I said I'm... No school? No, COVID has us do online classes. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Kinda. Yeah, a little. So what are you up to, kiddo? So, a little bit of perspective later in the video, he says, Oh, I didn't know that you were underage when you seen me tell him I was 12. And then he keeps calling me kiddo throughout the video, so keep that in mind, that'll come up later. And I go, laying in bed, how about you? Lunch break. Getting back to work soon. Oh, okay. Question. You're a Russian, you said. How do you feel about Ukraine? I feel sorry for them. You don't want the war? Question mark. No. No one wants the war, except for those who make profit from it. And few dumb ones who believe whatever reason those profiting make up. So that's kind of an interesting perspective, right? Because, like, we're shown that, oh, they want war, they want war, you know, like, oh my god, they're evil, bloodthirsty. But, I mean, here we have a Russian being like, no, we don't want the war, only, you know, the guys who are making money from the defense industry want the war. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's the good old-fashioned saying, kings send the peasants to war, Why the kings sit in bask in their glory. Basically, I think this is a really cool perspective, like, inside what's happening right now in Russia, because, I mean, with them kind of shutting down on social media, you know, you don't have a lot of information flowing out of that country right now, and I think it was kind of different to, like, hear from, like, one of them right now, and I'm like, wow, I expect you to be hardcore for it, talking about how Ukraine is full of, and then you know, the bad guys from World War II Germany. I can't say the actual name, because then the YouTube algorithm will freak out. But, but we will say that they are uh, well known for the atrocities that they have been done against certain people. And we will leave it at that. <laughs> Agreed. Even if there are any, I'm pretty sure more people are suffering now. Yeah, the president of the Ukraine is Jewish. His grandparents passed away in the Holocaust. There are a few bad guys from World War II there, but they're not in government like here in the U.S. or anywhere else, really. I mean, you're going to have people who idolize the bad guys from World War II in every country. Always. You know what I Always. mean? Always. But that doesn't mean that those people are in charge of he just goes shrugging, 
Anyways, I'll be getting back to work. Add me if you wanna. Okay. Could you take live pick before I go? Sure, if you promise to send my face, I'll be back. Okay. And then I send him a decoy photo. And I go, Hello. <laughs> LOL. LOL. Cute hoodie. Thank yous. Your turn. Smiley face. Tongue out. Sin's picture. Um, well, LOL. I, a promise is a promise. Oh, cute. Smiley face. What time is it there? 3.50am. LOL. LOL. Jesus. Why are you still up? I am more of a night person. I take night classes online. Oh, interesting. So you're studying right now? Okay, so I'm just, like, saying, like, out there. Like, I mean... I, I can't believe he fell for this. I mean, for real. Like, if you're college age... Okay. Totally, totally easy to fall for, but... Twelve you're old taking night well, classes. Right, come on. I will say he was cautious. Uh, I will, yeah, true. He doesn't get sexual until the enemy tries to cover it up hardcore. Well, like, that and also, the, he sent a selfie. He didn't send the famous Johnson photo. Oh no, he's he's a lot more refined and smart. A refined pedophile. And I say, well, I got done already, but just general studies. I see. Let's see. Uh, what do you do during breaks, if you have any? LOL. Listen to music, text friends. Text dot dot. At night, LOL. Do all kids never sleep at night these days? I don't. I can't speak for others. LOL. LOL. Okay. So what do you do for work? Question mark. I buy stuff. So he's a purchasing agent? I go, oh, okay. LOL. Smiley face. Okay. So what made you want to learn English? Question mark. Oh, uh, well, we have a... Have at least one foreign language in school. Most schools teach English. Our school had more English than most schools. And then the second foreign language, too, you could choose either German or French. Oh, I see. But yeah, I mean, it's very widely used. Plus, most of Western music and movies and stuff are in English. So that's pretty cool, like, that's another thing I didn't know about Russia, I guess. A lot of them speak English. Right. That'd be pretty scary, the dudes dropping from parachutes from the sky screaming at you in English. <laughs> right. Give it up, American! Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, no, boy, you come out here and you take it, you on my land, I'm gonna friggin' put you down with the old... Granddaddy shotgun, and I'm gonna bury you in the field, and make them plants grow. Facts. There you go. Yeah, a lot is. But won't you guys not see that stuff with the sanctions? There's always. <coughs> pirating stuff? Pirating. Oh, uh, pirating stuff, I'm tired. <coughs> okay. And I say laughing my ass out true. Did you like the American fast food stuff? Because like a lot of McDonald's and Burger Kings and stuff like that. Like all those chains like <laughs> left Russia. Right. Well, we don't have American American fast food, just chains like McDonald's, KFC and so on. Not sure if they taste the same. Oh, you never ate at them? LOL, I have, but they're in Russia. They are alright, I guess. 
We don't have stuff like five guys win these or whatever. I said right on. I'm shocked you know what five guys is. Laugh out, laughing my ass off. I know some things I've heard they are they have good fries. They do. Ha ha ha. Never tried those though and don't think they have any places outside of US. <coughs> and then I say I think there are a few in Canada and the UK. Well, I've never been to any of those countries either. Sad times. Have you been anywhere outside of US? To Canada and Mexico. Sweet, did you like it there? LOL. Sleep well. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> And it's just a bunch of hey kiddo. Hello. What's up? <coughs> Not much. How are you? Same. Feeling naughty, hee <laughs> hee question mark. Eyeballs, are you? A little, hee <laughs> hee. LOL. Nice pick. So this was him kinda like skirting around. He's trying to see if he can get nudes without asking for nudes. Right. He's smart. I will give it to him. He is smart. And then I say, "Very true." I don't know. You want to talk dirty? I'm shy when it comes to naughty pecs. He he. Oh, lol. Yes. He he. So, what would you like to do to me? I um. I'm not really into dirty talk, to be honest. You want a nude then? Question mark. Any kind of pick would work, preferably live. LOL. So he doesn't mind nudes of this tall girl, but he's not gonna like come out and ask for him. You know what I mean? Right. Like this guy, like I said, he's smart. You know, he's cautious. He keeps wanting live pictures. He's not. He's not leaving himself open at this sting or anything. You know what I mean? Right. He's not outright saying it. Yeah, but he heavily implies it. And I'm like, here, right. smiley face after he sent him a live pick. Cute. LOL. And with the clothes on. He liked the point smiley. about. Right. I'm like, you want to get naughty? He <laughs> he, question mark. Mmm, how? So he leaves that up to me. That's him once again, like, you know, holding his car close to his chest. Right. I said, what would you do if we were together, question mark? I'd have to take that top off first. Oh, and play with my breast, question mark. E yeah, that sounds like fun. I like it when my ex S word on my hips. I bet, lol. And then I sent him the legendary fake butt crack. Uh, almost, actually. I said, he says, are they big? I go, yes, they are, silly. Smiley face. LOL. Time. Well, LOL, well, I didn't see. And then, boom. The butt crack. The, the famous butt crack. The butt crack is like my special technique, man. Dude, that thing's just like gonna be a meme of its own. Dude, the butt crack supersedes the catches, okay? The butt crack is like on a dimension of its own. And like, I'm gonna start, you know, um, censoring out the butt crack like I did here. But dude, right. I kid you not, how I did the butt crack was, like, I have like a touchpad that I use to censor stuff, and I literally put my finger right up at the top in the middle, and just ran my finger down, and I'm like, whoa. Daniel son is good. Wax on, wax this off, is motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> it's good. It's good. And then Tease. He he, tongue out. Quiet face. You like? Question mark. Mm-hmm. What would you do 
if I gave you naked pics, would you play with yourself to them? <laughs> Definitely. Does it turn you on? I am 12, daddy. <laughs> I, uh, think I confuse you with someone else. That's not the age I had in mind, sorry. You called me, kiddo, and I told you I was 12 from the beginning. You knew. Yeah, I call that anyone under 20. You know, he's trying to cover his ass. Mm -hmm. And then I sent him, like, me telling him I was 12 in the beginning. I was like, no need to be sorry, silly, but you knew. LOL. LOL. Well, nothing happened, so it's all good. Things Laughing did emoji. happen, LOL. Don't be shy. LOL. Hush. Okay. And then he was like, you know, right here, he's like, LOL, well, nothing happened. And as everybody sees, things did happen. And I was like, right. don't be shy. And he's like, LOL, shush, like, you know, flattering, like, oh, stop it. Or, you know, something like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. wait. He knows. Wait, something. you've been caught, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, see, here's the thing. I usually don't do this. But I think we might do a Catch-22 dash part two or something like that. You know what I mean? Ooh, now that sounds like a good idea. Keep the story going, break it up into two videos. Right. Because since I uploaded this, I talked to him a little bit more. And I think he has more content for us. And, you know, as the war goes on, I can ask him more questions about what's going on in, uh, you know, Russia right now. This is very true. Very, very true. I and mean, then that means we get some great information. Well, okay, I know that, like, you guys watching right now, you don't watch us for, you know, news on Ukraine or, you know, whatever's going on there. But... <coughs> With this guy, we can kind of get an inside perspective in Russia. Right, and what the people are thinking. Basically. <coughs> I like this idea. That's good, comrade. That's good. So, thanks for joining us for Catch, Kick Predator Catch 22, the Rush. As the Russians <laughs> would say. Never mind, screw it. See you guys. <laughs> Bye guys, see you in the next one.